Welcome to Weather Overtime. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. It is Tuesday evening as we record this December 27th, rapidly running out of year. We'll take a look at the forecast for the New Year's holiday coming up in just a little while. And temperatures over the next several days, including again for tomorrow, well above where we were last week, again with that Arctic powerful blast coming on through. Much more mild temperatures in the near future, but we also see some chances of rain for New Year's. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit. We also have a couple of events, one for severe weather spotter training, and another one if you've got a telescope for the holidays and want to know how to use it, how to aim it, how to take care of it. We have a great event coming up in the early portion of January. Stay tuned for all that. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything else, please contact me at aonic at wdef.com or find more at our our website wdef.com slash weather conditions on the roadways much improved over last night where slipping and sliding was going on and some pretty treacherous conditions numerous exit and entrance ramps shut down by the authorities and as of right now looking very calm and quiet for much of the area including conditions out there much more palatable for traveling into the early evening hours of Tuesday last night was a slip and slide glad to see those conditions go out there a bit of a frosty view from Pinky's Point. Never been there before, but beautiful sunrise as captured by Don and Pat Hill of Hickson, Tennessee. That's our Tuesday West Shore home weather window picture of the day. And if you've got pictures to share, we'd love to share them for you on air. Please let us know at pictures at WDEF.com or find us on social media, Facebook.com slash WDEF News 12. Next few days, again, very much on the mild side. Temperatures above normal, finally, as we go toward the end of the week and more chances of showers coming up as we go into Friday afternoon and evening and overnight into around Saturday. So far today, high temperatures much more improved than what we were yesterday. Yesterday's high temperature was actually where our normal low temperature was supposed to be. That was on Monday. High temperature for today, very much closer to where we should be for this time of the year. And of course, nothing in the rain gauge and very good news for the drought situation much improved at this time we're going to be finishing up both the month and the year with a pretty good surplus out there so looking very good for that heading out to the golf course tomorrow will be a much better day a little warmer winds a little bit more breezy and temperatures for highs back into the lower 50s or so nothing showing up on radar tonight we have no snow showers no flurries no winter weather of any type no advisories either no watches or warnings so it's a very quiet evening and very very grateful to be able to tell people about that so very good news there and through the rest of the evening should be looking at very quiet conditions we're showing an atmospheric river making its way through the area around the west coast states that is going to be doing a very good job of pumping moisture into around areas that is desperately needed we are also going to be seeing that storm system from the west coast moving our direction it's going to take a couple of days to get here what we're looking at is of course the storm system coming in around the Los Angeles area and that's going to be heading a little bit closer to us giving us more chances of showers and thunderstorms but that atmospheric river has been pumping a lot of very much needed moisture into areas of the west coast that need tons of it for both the reservoirs for fire suppression for all kinds of stuff and hopefully that continues a little bit without getting too much on the flooding side of things running the numbers into tonight Temperatures by tomorrow morning, mid to upper 20s. No sign of anything involving rainfall, hardly any clouds to speak of. Near normal conditions as we go toward Wednesday afternoon. A few clouds for early Thursday morning. Temperatures back in the mid 30s, again, right about where they should be for this time of the year. And then by Thursday afternoon, quite pleasant. Temperatures above normal throwing off that very chilly air that we got again several days ago so this is going to feel very balmy across the area tonight looking at dry conditions chilly and mostly clear skies overnight lows dropping back to the lower 30s and then tomorrow temperatures for midweek very close to normal back into the lower 50s or so all right good news again looking at a big warm-up heading our way for the next several days the climate prediction center showing temperatures well above normal and looking at that corresponding with the temperature forecast as numbers get very mild down toward the Gulf Coast and looking at temperatures over 60 degrees. Doesn't look like 70s or 80s just yet. That's confined well on down to around Texas and the Rio Grande. But we're going to be seeing some very nice numbers coming on through here, possibly getting into about the lower to mid 60s or so. Now, unfortunately, 
Climate Prediction Center is giving us the potential of a lot more rainfall coming on through as we go into the next six to ten days. That also pans out on the forecast starting again toward about Friday afternoon and evening going through all of Saturday. Some pretty good amounts of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and overspreading the Tennessee Valley. By very early Sunday morning, we'll look at the clearing conditions out there, so at least New Year's Day will not be a washout. Unfortunately, showers may be sticking around by about the time the new year rolls around, so please be prepared for that. And then another storm system coming our way as we go into next week. This is the one that may have a little bit more of a punch to it, and I think we really need to watch that considering we're heading into the severe weather season, the prime one for the year. Heading toward New Year's itself, closing out 2022, very mild temperatures, no question about that. That won't be a problem, but chances of rainfall might stick around as we go into New Year's Day with temperatures back well above freezing, so no reason to worry about any frost or any white precipitation coming down, snow, ice, etc. Looking very nice there, but good news, it'll be just drizzle by then and then everything heading on out of the picture as we go toward the beginning portions of the rest of Sunday. Chances of rain again, very mild numbers back in the lower 60s to mid to upper 50s and staying in the 60s toward next week. Please keep it tuned to News 12 on air and online because this approaching area of weather I think shows some promise as the possibility of maybe some severe weather, but of course way too early to tell on that. It just seems to be, again, very well, according to the models, well stoked. This could be a system with a lot of energy to it, so keep it tuned to News 12 for more on that. Either way, heading out for New Year's Eve, traveling or partying outside, you are going to need some rain protection out there as we go into the early portion of the new year. Not everybody can make their way home for the holidays wearing the uniform of our country. Vocal Air Base in Eindhoven in portions of the Netherlands, 45 degrees, winds breezy out of the south for tonight, just past midnight on Wednesday on the other side of the pond, wind chilled down to about the mid to upper 30s. And thank you for wearing the uniform of our country as well. Back toward Iran. Rock, chilly up to the areas northwest of Baghdad, otherwise clear skies for the most part and temperatures in the 40s and the 50s out there. I'm going to continue to see some calm and dry conditions. This is the time of the year where we can get some pretty big storms out there, as in sandstorms. So nothing going on. Very good news about that. The Barnard Astronomical Group will be holding their annual new telescope workshop at Harrison Bay State Park from 3 to 5 p.m. You got a telescope for the holidays, want to know how to use it, maybe a little bit more. If you got old telescopes, they'll help you learn how to fix it. And if you'd like to know more about that, you can go to my social media pages. That'll be Saturday, January 7th from 3 to 5 p.m., Harrison Bay State Park Recreation Hall. And you can find out more at barnardastronomy.org. You can also learn how to help protect your area, your community. Uh, by learning more about becoming a volunteer storm spotter, the National Weather Service in Morristown will be teaching the next in-person course Friday, February 10th at 6 p.m. That will be at Hamilton County, Tennessee. That's Chattanooga. Again, Memorial Hospital Community Rooms on DeSales Avenue, 37404. It is free, but you do need to register to attend weather.gov slash mrx and all this information can be found on my social media pages so drop by there for more information be glad to help you out with that weather information there as well again coming up into the next couple of days very mild enjoy the sunshine while you can because looks to be a soggy end to the year at least we're not seeing anything else in the way of very cold weather or seeing anything in the way of winter type precipitation anytime soon so very glad to tell you about that chip chapman's forecast will be on bright and early Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. And of course, I'll have details on our website and on News 12 throughout the rest of the evening. So stay tuned for more there. From downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onick at WDEF News 12. Stay tuned for more with News 12 on air and online.